This has discovered signs of alien life outside the solar system. These so researchers here in the UK say they have found the strongest sign yet of possible life beyond our solar system. That it's a sign of alien life or second, that it's a habitable planet for you and me. A planet 124 light years from Earth has shown what astronomers describe as the strongest evidence yet of potential life beyond our solar system. Now, scientists have found the strongest evidence yet that a planet 124 light years away could be home to life. Observations by the James Webb Space Telescope of K22 appear to reveal the chemical fingerprints of two compounds, dimethyl sulfide, DMS, and dimethyl disulfide, DMDS, that, on Earth, are produced only by living organisms. While not definitive proof of alien biology, the findings bring us closer to answering the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? K218b stands out as an unusual world, roughly 2.6 times wider than Earth and weighing in at about 8.6 Earth masses, it doesn't fit neatly into the categories of rocky terrestrial planets or gas giants. Instead, it resembles a mini Neptune, cloaked in a thick, hydrogen-rich atmosphere. Yet its orbit places it at just the right distance from its parent star to receive Earth-comparable energy, warm enough for liquid water to exist, but not so close that the surface would boil away. Interest in this distant planet began in 2019, when astronomers first announced traces of water vapor drifting through its skies. That discovery alone was remarkable but far from conclusive. Soon after, observations hinted at carbon dioxide and methane, molecules that on Earth can arise from living processes but that also have purely geological or photochemical origins. These preliminary results painted K218b as an intriguing target, but the question remained, could we find something more definitive? Enter the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, whose infrared spectrograph can split starlight passing through a planet's atmosphere into its constituent wavelengths. During a planetary transit, when K218b crossed in front of its star, the telescope captured the dim imprint of gases suspended high above the planet's clouds. In late 2023, the Cambridge researchers reported that this data included a signal matching dimethyl sulfide, DMS, a sulfur-bearing molecule on Earth produced almost entirely by marine phytoplankton and certain bacteria. Detecting DMS at a confidence level of 3 sigma means there's about a 0.3% chance the signal is a statistical fluke. Still a 0.3% chance that this could be a statistical fluke. But in scientific discoveries, especially like a discovery like this, which is completely game-changing for science and transforming our understanding of the universe. That may sound low, but in the world of astrophysical claims, three sigma is regarded as suggestive rather than definitive. For comparison, the soil experiments carried out by NASA's Viking landers on Mars in 1976 produced tantalizing gas releases that briefly excited scientists, only to be later explained by non-biological chemistry. Similarly, methane plumes detected in Mars's atmosphere in the early 2000s and Gochistogorgens sparked headlines but remain unresolved. To transform this tantalizing three sigma hints into a broadly accepted discovery, the team needs to push the confidence level to five sigma, reducing the odds of a false positive to 0.06%. That will require additional JWST observations over multiple transits, using varied instrument modes to rule out potential noise or instrumental quirks. The researchers plan to schedule these follow-up observations in the coming year, aiming to nail down DMS's presence beyond reasonable doubt. Even more intriguing is the possible detection of dimethyl disulfide, DMDS, another molecule linked on Earth to microbial life. Together, DMS and DMDS appear at concentrations roughly 20 times higher than those found in our planet's oceans. On Earth, such levels would indicate a thriving bloom of microbial activity. If K218b's sulfur chemistry indeed arises from biology, it points toward a vast, active ocean beneath the planet's clouds. This has led scientists to propose that K218b belongs to a new class of Hycean worlds, planets with global oceans under hydrogen-rich atmospheres. In such environments, water and energy combine beneath a protective veil of hydrogen, creating stable conditions for aquatic microbes. 
life there would almost certainly be microbial, drifting in a deep, sunlit ocean rather than moving across land. It's an alien ecosystem, yes, but one with echoes of Earth's own marine life, confirming life on K218b would carry profound implications for red dwarf stars, which make up roughly 73% of our galaxy's stellar population. Astronomers long debated whether these small, active stars could host habitable planets, given their frequent flares and the likelihood that rocky worlds would become tidally locked. Yet, if a red dwarf can nurture a heightened ocean world teeming with life, then the number of potentially life-bearing planets in the Milky Way could skyrocket. That said, K218b's high gravity, nearly nine times that of Earth, likely precludes the evolution of large, complex life or intelligent spacefaring civilizations. With no solid surface and crushing pressures, any life forms would remain microscopic and ocean bound. This possibility aligns with one proposed solution to the Fermi paradox. While microbial life might be widespread, advanced civilizations could be extraordinarily rare. Even so, the existence of simple organisms in a second world would revolutionize biology. If life can arise independently in an ocean environment under a hydrogen blanket, it suggests that abiogenesis is not a fluke, but a natural outcome, wherever conditions allow. That realization would reshape our understanding of life's origins, its resilience, and its prevalence across the cosmos. Historically, our search for extraterrestrial life has been marked by hopeful hints and rigorous scrutiny. Vikings' Martian soil tests, Cassini's discovery of water-rich plumes on Enceladus, and the detection of multiple Earth-sized planets in the habitable zone of TRAPPIST-1, each fueled excitement without providing final proof. Yet, each milestone deepened our scientific toolkit, inspired new missions, and refined our questions. K218b's potential biosignatures build on that legacy, pushing the frontier of what we can detect and analyze. Laboratories on Earth are already working to reproduce K218b-like conditions, testing whether DMS and DMDS can form without life under high pressure, temperature gradients, or unusual chemical mixes. Those experiments are crucial. They will help distinguish true biological signals from exotic, geological or photochemical processes. Meanwhile, plans for next generation telescopes, both in space and on the ground, promise ever greater sensitivity to exoplanet atmospheres. As the Cambridge team readies its next observing campaign, the broader scientific community watches with anticipation. The universe is vast, but our quest to understand it grows ever more powerful. Ultimately, the journey to confirm or refute life on K218b is a testament to human curiosity and perseverance. If these microbial signatures hold up, they will mark our first contact with a living world beyond Earth. And even if further observations reveal a different explanation, the knowledge we gain will guide us to the next promising target.